Dear brothers, welcome to this time to talk, the world of construction machineries. In my previous talk, we were looking at the possibilities of attachments to an excavator. Our focus was on hydraulic breakers. Today, we will be exploring other possibilities. You know, one of the common attachments uh, for an excavator is a compactor. A plate compactor is used to compress uh, some types of soil and uh, gravel uh, for construction projects. They are used to uh, compress and uh, reshape the soil. Uh, a compactor is used mainly for dense uh, compaction of material uh, that require uh, a stable subsurface. The vital part of a compactor uh, is a flat plate uh, which is really very heavy. Uh, the plate can uh, rest on the ground when the machine is off. Uh, the plate is vibrated up and down uh, for uh, compacting the soil. There are many different types of plate compactors. For example, uh, one of the types uh, is a single plate compactor uh, which moves only in forward direction. This type you can find uh, in small scale asphalt jobs. Uh, some other type can move forward and reverse directions. Uh, they are heavy duty compactors uh, which are mainly used for a deep excavation of soil. Uh, you will find its applications in uh, deep excavations, uh, trenches, embankments, uh, roadways, uh, they provide highest safety, especially, you know, when operating uh, within deep excavations. You know, an excavator compactor uh, is a vibrating plate uh, which is attached to the excavator. It is mounted at the end of an excavator arm uh, for, for uh, providing powerful compaction uh, I mean a powerful compaction force uh, than a hand operated compactor. You know it's a hydraulic attachment. Uh, the operator can uh, control the functions uh, sitting uh, comfortably in his cabin. So he doesn't have to uh, get down to the trench always uh, as in case of a hand compactor. I mean, there is no longer any need for uh, someone to stand uh, directly uh, in the workplace. Also, you know, a compactor attachment. A compactor, when it, when it is working with an excavator, uh, is working without much noise. You know, particularly uh, when it is used in trenches. Of course, Hydraulic plate compactors are subject to severe vibration, you know, which is uh, controlled by uh, shock mounts. I mean, uh, the vibration is evenly distributed uh, so the compactor can uh, keep its proper level. Most of you know, how does a compactor uh, get its power uh, to apply a constant compaction force uh, on the soil. Uh, if you look at the compactor, uh, you will see an offset housing uh, and the weight inside the housing is being rotated. As the weight rotates, it creates centrifugal force which helps to uh, transmit a uh, constant force uh, from the compactor to the soil. 
So, so this action causes vibration. When we say an object is vibrating, it means that it moves back and forth from its stationary uh, position. Uh, it goes to one extreme position uh, to another extreme position and it returns. So this we can call as one complete cycle. Uh, the number of cycles completed uh, per second is the frequency. So in our case, the rate at which the weight inside the house rotates is a measure of the frequency. In any compaction job, what plays important is the frequency and the centrifugal force. Uh, I'm not going into detail uh, since frequency and vibration is in fact not our core topic today. Uh, let us come back to hydraulic compactors on excavators. You know these compactors are uh, very I mean very compact in design. The objective uh, is to work in hard uh, rich areas. For example, if you want to use in trenches, say around pipeline, top of piling or near foundations, I mean you can use them around any obstructions and even on uh, you know steep slopes. Uh, if you have a rough terrain area when you know where you can't use conventional rollers the best choice is your excavator compactor. You can compact aggregates or soil to any area where your boom can reach. You know, especially areas where uh, people can't reach. Uh, you may use also uh, for soil stabilization and uh, also for backfilling jobs. A compactor with an excavator uh, finds good applications in uh, waste management for compacting waste. You know, it has applications in uh, steel, I mean, sheet pile installations and also, uh, ex I mean, extraction of uh, sheet piles. Uh, this is also used uh, to break materials uh, which are frozen, uh, for example, salt. Uh, when you use a hydraulic compactor uh, with an excavator, um, you get an ideal machine for compacting uh, soil on slopes or say confined areas. You know in these areas where you can't operate a roller, uh, there are hydraulic compactors uh, which can be rotated uh, to position the compactor on areas uh, which are otherwise uh, very difficult to reach. Uh, you know the hydraulic compactors are fitted with control valves. You know they are fitted with control valves to regulate uh, the hydraulic flow and also the pressure. This feature is to ensure that uh, the compactor is not overloaded you know, especially when we change the carrier. If you look at the compactor housing, <clears throat> you will see that the plate is offset by certain degrees. Uh, this is designed offset, you know, in order to distribute the forces uh, across the plate. Naturally, uh, there will be, you know, less stress on the compactor and the carrier as well and so its lifespan you know lifespan uh, will be increased you know some compactors
can be attached to an excavator uh, without any special installations. Uh, there are standard adapter plates uh, and you know attachment brackets uh, and they can be attached very easily. Uh, in hard to reach areas we can use uh, wheel type compaction attachments. Uh, if you look at the wheel type uh, compaction attachments we can find two wheel type or even up to six wheel type compactors. Now you see what a wonderful versatile attachment the compactor is. Now uh, let us forget the compactor and now look at other possibilities. We have already seen that hydraulic breakers and excavators find applications in demolition jobs. Once the demolition is done, another key attachment uh, which is applied on the ground uh, is the uh, excavator grapple. You know, the purpose of these grapples is to uh, sort debris uh, and uh, loading the same to uh, transport vehicles. It is quite simple attachment, you know, which has uh, a very strong rigid body, uh, which includes uh, two moving jaws. The jaws are connected together, so uh, its movement is uh, simultaneous. Among the grapple attachments, uh, you can find uh, rotating types uh, and also tilting types. You know, these movements are purely hydraulic. Uh, the rotating types are used for sorting and uh, loading heavy objects. Uh, the tilting types are used for uh, light sorting and loading jobs. Uh, you can of course uh, modify this grapple attachments uh, for meeting uh, additional jobs uh, such as carrying rocks. Once uh, you add suitable teeth you may use it for handling rocks. Another kind of attachment is clamshell beckets. Uh, which is a modified uh, form of grapple packet. They are commonly used uh, in dredging, uh, excavation or material handling. Uh, it is an you know articulating two-piece packet. You know they are mechanically hinged at the middle uh, to form a you know uh, what we call claw type. I mean claw-like appearance. Uh, they are suitable for uh, digging and loading soil, uh, sand and similar materials. I hope that God willing we can go into details on the next occasions. Thank you for watching and please share with me your, your feedback on this video. This is Tadjuddin Kasim signing off. Goodbye.